Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about five. Okay, when I was writing this particular this one headline, it was funny and I was like, great, let it let it sound funny because let it sound funny just for the sake of being it funny. But this is also very important and a very sensitive topic that we are going to discuss. Five reasons why, comma why is important. It's just not like like what are the reasons why. Comma, why is important. Thank you so much for joining in this video. I, if you don't know me, this is Fazal Ahmad Shah, F A Z A L, and it's pronounced Fazal. And we have, I do this for the sake of, I do these videos just so that introverts idea to an execution in itself is like the whole journey. And I want all the introverts who want to become in entrepreneurs, how can they take an idea? to execution and that being said that's where the community called the academy of artists and scientists takes place where we are a bunch of introvert entrepreneurs where we go from having an idea executing so many different multiple levels that being said thank you so much and that brings us to point number one why is why important point one the reason one steps are important also the psychology behind the steps so when i started off my journey i i See, when we start off, for example, if you want to lose weight or gain six pack apps you, and you want to do it from home, you just go to Google and you just see who are doing great, who, want, who you want to model and there are like so many hundreds and thousands of people doing it. Whomever you resonate with, you click and you start doing the workout. They have been doing it. I myself have been doing it because it, just for the reasons that I said to you, like, okay, great. I just want to follow the steps because I'm not getting results. Great. Now that you learn the steps and you started seeing those results because again steps are important to get a result great and when i started off my journey the business steps that i wanted to adapt i started learning the steps i started teaching people the steps I started coaching people and coaching members the steps that i had then it came a point where i started to realize steps are important on the front end but what is more important is the psychology behind it if I know why the cycle, why is that step, step number two? Why is that step placed at step number eight? Now, if I know the mindset behind it, the psychology behind it, I will be in a better position to do what? To say myself, is it really important in step number eight or it can be brought all the way to step number two? Or probably we don't even need that step. Because now I know why is it placed there. I am in a better position to judge and critic based on my expertise, based on who I am and kind of tweak it as and further I go. Point number one, steps are important but also I need to know the psychology behind it. That's where I think when I was structuring my whole business idea, the business flow and the customer journey and stuff like that, I came to a realization, great, I need to know steps, that's the science. I also need to know the mindset of it the psychology behind it, the art behind it because now if I if I tell you I want to have a great signature, I have steps, great, I will probably get results or I will get, be getting results if I follow a precise step. It becomes even more impactful when I get to know the mindset, when I get to know uh, the psychology, when I get to know the what, when I get to know the art behind it. Point number one. Point number two. Why gives us a deeper reason to do? Why gives us a, a deeper reason to do? Now, I want to, it's like, uh, my signature at the moment on 21st of February, it is very bad. Probably I'm getting better at it with the more practice that I'm doing. But then, I'm, it's just like a KG student doing it because I never ventured out in getting a great signature. Now that I'm fascinated and I'm obsessed of getting great signature, I'm doing it. Now, when I started looking out for, uh, I need to have a great, I need to have a signature that's very fancy, then has to dominate the page, it has to look good, because that's, I just want to have it in that way. There's no because, I just wanted to have it in that way. Great. The, the goal is to have a great signature. When I started learning on YouTube on how to get signature, I started to get the results and when I was starting, starting to consume those videos, and each video said that your signature will be a reflection of your handwriting. I can give you steps to have a great signature, you will end up having a great signature. If you fix your handwriting that you've already got, you will have 10x that 
the great signature that you already got through the steps that I've suggested you. You getting me? If I get the steps will eventually give you a great signature. If you and if you fix your handwriting, if you understand why handwriting is important and start working on the handwriting, this is going to be a long term game. It's not you're not going to have a signature tomorrow that that will be great because your handwriting sucks, it's pretty bad. If you fix this handwriting, if you fix if you know the art behind it, if you know the psychology behind it, if you know the mindset behind it, your signature, not tomorrow, maybe after 20 days, will have the radiation. It will start becoming better because my handwriting is getting better. B- better. Now, now that I know why, it's it's radiating, it's reflecting, and it's it's giving it's 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 making my signature better. Point number two. Point number three. Now that I know why is important, now I get to know click why do I have to diet to get six pack abs? Because for a fact personally, I was working so hard and I was not dieting. And the moment I started dieting and when people, when close members, the close friends and I have this is like further, it's really important for you to start dieting. You are getting results just with the workout great. If you start dieting, you start seeing even more results. And they sat, made me sad and explained me why is writing important. The moment I got a bulb on was like, aha, uh-huh, that if I reduce the intake of food or probably if I follow diet in short, I will have better results on this part of the world. This part of what because I'm working really hard. I need to see more results quickly. If I read, if I start following this diet, this is going to be impacted. So when I know that. I can tweak my steps. If my knee is paining, if I don't, if I'm not probably following the the exercise plan in a specific way because my knee is hurting, what I'll do is I will adopt different exercises, different workouts instead of that because I know the art behind it. I know stay. If that is not working, I'll do this. If that step specifically is hurting me, okay, I'm do something else instead of that particular. The other day I was having knee pain because uh, my body is not used to lunch jumps and stuff like that okay what i'll do is i'll do different workout in that particular step number four because now i know the idea behind it now so that's why it's very important for you whenever you're conveying or whenever you're con- delivering that piece of content people your members need to know why are you doing why is that step step number two or step number 10 or step number nine that brings us to point number four it's not just to justify that it is important but to give a reason to it why do you need to start your video with an introduction? Why do you need to? Uh, why do you do what you do? Why are you in this superpower? Why do you want to build an online business? Why uh, is breathing so important? Why is stress management is so important? Why? How do you? If you are talk, teaching people, okay, you need to have your handwriting great because now that is going to help you get great at doing business. You need to. Your relationships are going to get better. You need to, your signature is going to get better, get better. So why is it that important? Once you say that why, you're just giving them a reason to believe, to get inspiration, to, you're setting an example so that they, they see that the reason, great, that's why it works. I'm going to do it myself. It's that simple. And you're just you're not justifying why you are right or why is it important. You're not justifying it. You're just giving a reason why it's important. Point number five. Sharing stories, struggles, challenges. Now, in other terms, whenever you are doing a piece of content, not piece of content, but on the lines of your webinars and where, where you are doing it, cold selling, where people don't know you, people are watching, interacting for the first time, people are people have invested in your course and they're interacting for the first time, you're doing something where people have no idea. And when you share a story, a struggle, a uh, 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 and an obstacle that you had when you started off a journey that helps you connect with the people and people gets connected with you. I'll tell you, when you are doing your webinars, you are at point M, for example. When you are at point M, you have already been through A, B, C, D, F, G, all the way till M. Great. This was the place where you struggled a lot to get to this point. Now you are probably successful. When you are at, when you are at point M, people that you are teaching are at point A. They will not connect at where you are. This may be an inspiration for them, but this may be a motivation for them, a goal for them. But what will actually help them is what you were doing at point number eight. Now, the way, when you did not have financial resources, 
when you did when you did not have family support when when you did not have an air condition when you were recording a video when you were so fat now that you're teaching people uh, six pack abs when you were eating junk food like anything but you somehow maintain that consistency of being so uh, so disciplined and not and avoiding junk food what were the challenges what were the struggles what did you felt then because what you felt then is what people are feeling now that's why when you share those struggles those struggles those stories that's where people resonate with that is why you started doing something turning life the turning moments of life twisting the twist that changed everything for you makes sense right so these are the five reasons why why is an important so you give them a reason to motivate give them a reason to get inspiration give them a reason to believe in what you are sharing with them because you know that's their goal that's way my reasoning is something you take on the way back and tell them like this is why this is this is important this is why diet is important you could do 30 days of workout very hard rigorously and when if you don't follow a diet you are going to get results if you follow diet you are going to get even better results why is really important you tell them okay this is what what are one of the mistakes that i have done this is one of the blunders that i have done you don't have to repeat the blunders that's why why is why is important so thank you so much for making this topic me and this video a part of your day or an episode of podcast in your part of your day thank you so much and i'm going to see you in another video تواكل بجد بعزم فصيح